Hello everyone. Welcome to the finale of Klingon Academy. And when I say finale, I only mean that this is the last uh, campaign, uh, campaign mission uh, that we'll be playing. This is uh, mission 25, uh, which I think is called Tachfa... Tachbe? No, Tachpa. Tachbe. That's correct, sorry. My Klingon's a little rusty. Um, but yeah, this, this will be the final mission. Um, I'm think if I can get through this, well, I'm going to get through it one way or another, um, this will be the second time I've completed the game all the way through. Uh, I have played the game many times in the year, uh, many years past, but I've never completed it. I've like played maybe, got past the academy and then I kind of tapered off and got interested in something else. So yeah, I think this is only the second time I've actually completely completed the game all the way through. A um, couple of points. Uh, I have downloaded a... What, is basically an amalgamation of mods, it seems to be, of ship mods for Klingon Academy, as well as what appears to be a Starfleet Command 3 campaign. Now, I've never played the Starfleet Command games, I'm, I've never been really into that, um, but uh, yeah, I'm more interested really in the ship packs and everything, so I, I've decided on how I want to approach like the additional content of Klingon Academy, so the, after this we'll do a video about just doing some quick battle scenarios. Um, because there are some actually a few interesting things to show you there as well uh, when you fly some of the uh, non-Klingon ships for example and we can have some fun with the different scenarios and then we'll do uh, the uh, a video on specifically on the mod because I, I have had a pl quick play with it um, it's a bit laggy for me so I'm actually wondering if I should actually try that on my new computer instead um, which I have now I just need to build it um, yeah but that's how I'll approach it. We'll, we'll have two separate videos, one on just the standard quick battle that comes with the vanilla uh, so we can look at it properly, and then we'll do one for mods, and then that'll be it, and just uh, I need to do one more video to review the game, and that's it. We can then start doing Bridge Commander, or at least next year. Anyway, with that very long ramble over, and I'm terribly sorry about that, let's uh, begin our final mission. Torlek! I have just returned from the Balik system. I don't have time for this, Kaporak. There is an emergency. Listen to me! Our sensors detected three large fleets moving at high warp to the Gamma Seti system. We positively identified four of those ships, including General Chang's battleship. Are you certain of this? Yes. I also intercepted part of the emergency transmission sent to you by the Chancellor. It was garbled due to the long range, but I think I understand what is happening. Thank you, Kaporak. You've given me exactly the information I need. Torlik, Wait! Out! Don't you! Uh, okay. It seems like there was, should have been a choice there, but I just automatically got chosen for me. Ooh. This is a very small version of the uh, Federation Starbase that we see around Earth. We are being hailed by General Chang. On screen. Torek, I am pleased that you have decided to join us on this glorious day. Let us set aside our differences and unite against the Federation. That is not why I am here. Oh? Then why have you come? General, I must inform you that a large Romulan armada is en route to the Kronos system even as we speak. This is Melkor's anticipated attack. Chancellor Gorkhan has ordered your immediate return. Our enemy is here! What does the fool think I should do? Sit idly by while the Federation horde pours across our borders? First thing, it's interesting how welcoming he is to Torlek. Uh, now, now that he has his war with the Federation, he's like, yes, finally we can have our epic holy war against the Federation and Torlek, I know we had our differences, but right, I need you, guy. I need you beside me. And, um, yeah, and then the, the subtle kind of pulling back is like, oh, so why are you here? You know, it's... I, I, I Christopher Plummer. Uh, what an actor. Anyway, um, yeah, and also a little bit Chang, if you've been told that a massive Romulan fleet is en route to your homeworld and you are so happy you get to fight the Federation that, no, 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 I, I really want to fight these guys. Fuck the Klingon homeworld. This is where I need to be. Oh, he is so blinded. So blinded by his absolute hatred of the Federation. It's quite fascinating, really. Um, 
I could appeal to his duty, but as I've just literally said, um, he's blind. He he's so blind. If he if he won't return at this point, then I don't know. Let, let's let's try and explain what's going on, sir. The destruction of the observation outpost was a deception created by Melkor. It was intended to mislead you, to divert you from the defense of Kronos. There has been no attack by the Federation, and we are not at war with them. Gorkhan sent me here to inform you of this. That is a preposterous lie. Gorkhan fears a war with the Federation so much that he hides from the truth. You may share in this delusion, but I will not. No. I'm guessing this is basically the bad ending. You can challenge him and basically, well, you know, kill Chang. But that's not the canon ending. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe something else. Maybe this is the correct thing to do. But, um, yeah, maybe this is the, the time to question his honor and remind him of his duty. I don't know. Ah. Oh. I'll try this one. General, none of this is ultimately important. Not my arguments, not the Federation, or even Melkor. What is important is that the man we have sworn obedience to summons us home to defend our people. All that matters this day is our honor and our duty. Pursue your own war with the Federation. Kill me if you wish. But first, look me in the face and tell me you will betray everything you believe in. Admit you will betray everything you have taught me. Then I will know the Federation has already subverted you through your own hatred. I see you have learned from me. All too perfectly. Very well. I will lead the fleets back to Kronos. But understand, this is now twice I have been deprived of a worthy death in battle. I cannot possibly imagine what this will cost. I I got feels from that. That was chilling. I I feel so sorry for Chang. I really do. Sir, the fleet is warping out. I mean, it was an epic uh, speech from Torlek as well, us, the player. Um, but just watching, He's standing by. watching Chang's face as he processed what Torlek's saying, just like, just slapping him in the face with the truth. Engage power allocation. And he still has enough semblance to remind himself, yeah, okay, you're right. Let's do this. But you know, again, like he said, I've been deprived of my uh, of my one glorious death because I can't stand to see that the Federation. Maybe Chang knows that peace with the Federation is an inevitability. He might be able to prolong it. I don't know. Maybe deep down, that's what he thinks is going to happen. So he and he would rather die. I don't know. Anyway, very good, very very good start to the mission. That that actually made me a little bit emotional seeing Chang, how Chang reacted to that at the end. Is this the level of acting we deserve? Yes. Especially in a video game. They are forming up now. First officer, give me a status report on the most critical battles. Captain, Romulan warships are attacking Starbase Kroth. There is heavy fighting near Kronos 3, several skirmishes surrounding Kronos 2, and a Romulan heavy task force is under fire near Kronos 4. Additional skirmishes are spread throughout the system. Captain, our escorts are forming up. Well, we have quite a few choices, don't we? Uh, we might need the Starbase as a rally point, so let's start with the Starbase. Um, Port Twin System. Engage warp drive. See, so yeah, this is the uh, Romulan invasion of the Klingon homeworld. 
which will never be mentioned or heard from and has no response after this from the Klingons at all. Real shame because other than, other than that uh, incongruity, uh, incongruity, inconsistency between uh, the game and the the canon shows, this is a perfectly great storyline to have. I, I I I thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, there's the starbase. I'm guessing. Don't. Uh, for a second, I was a bit worried I would hit the planet, but we're all right. So, Pronos looks a lot like Earth at the moment. I just want to get out of the planet's shadow, actually. We got. Uh, let's go to that guy. What drive? Let's get it on. Which targeting mode? Right away, sir. Activate ECM system. One down. Wide angle. Wide angle. Normal magnification. Ah, didn't mean to do that. There we go. I thought I'd activated it too soon. Another one down. Oh yeah, he's a bit far away, isn't he? Alright, let's come about. Ooh, that's a battleship there, isn't it? We need to help him. Let's concentrate on this big boy. We didn't get to kill you last time. No, he's lost also shield, so this will not be good for him. And this might be good for me if I hit the star base. Right in. Well, so far, so good. Oh, look, look at this whole go. This thing just shreds. What an amazing weapon. Oh my god. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, fair enough. That thing can dish out just as bad if he gets a good hit on it. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh, I, no, I must have hit friendly fire. I, I missed a cutscene there, I must have been killed. Also, I did actually have a, another cutscene um, at one of my earlier missions I forgot to actually comment on. It was actually really well done. It was, I think it was mission 19 or 18. Um, but you get this speech by Gorkon, which tells you how, uh, you know, we honour the dead, and just even though it says that we killed Melkor, we won at the end of the day. I'll actually insert the... Uh, death cutscene, maybe here or maybe later in the video, for, for, your, for your viewing pleasure.
Fellow warriors, we come together on an auspicious day to look to our new future as well as to remember. The forces of the usurper have been defeated and their threat to our empire is ended. Though many of our finest warriors fell honorably in battle, their glorious death is tinged with remorse. For they cannot stand proudly with us as we forge a new destiny for our empire. In remembrance of them, our honored dead, who died in this our greatest challenge, we now dedicate this monument. Let this forever be a reminder of their sacrifice. But anyway, let's try again. Right, we've, we've been through this, yep. Yeah, uh, there, there's definitely what should have been dialogue there, I'm guessing, but I, I guess they didn't need that anymore, did they? Uh, I guess we have to go through all this again, don't we? So, it was deception, question is honour. As much as I love the speech, we're not here to see that again. Engage power allocation at once, sir. So, I'll, I'll go to the star base again. Because I want to uh, secure the homeworld and make sure we have a place to fall back to. Captain, Chancellor Gorkot has assigned the Vakat Task Force to serve as our escorts. They are forming up now. First officer, give me a status report on the most critical battles. Captain, Romulan warships are... Okay, we have to wait for the... Uh, there is heavy fighting near Kronos 3. Fighting... Actually, no, we can... And a Romulan heavy task force is under fire near Kronos 4. There we go. Additional skirmishes are spread throughout the system. Captain, our escorts are forming up. It's because we have to wait for all this spiel, but we don't really. We just uh, look onto the star base and go straight away. A nice leisurely warp before going into battle. Glory to the Empire. So, who are we going for first? This guy. There's the other one. There was another one, I thought. Is that... Oh, that's a Melkor. Shh, no, that's, that's me being an idiot because I have friend. <laughs> Don't want to be friendly fire again, do we? Enemy ships, right. That's better. Is that the battleship over there? Yeah. Well, let's deal with the nearby threats. Oh, no, that's the battleship. <laughs> Well, let's be careful. Oh my goodness me, 35% hull already. dead. Okay, well, I feel like I came out of that one a lot worse than he did. Anyone wants to help me at any time, you know. Con, order escorts to attack my target. Yeah, 
I, I need support. I'm I'm not in the best state. There we go, we've got some support. Twenty-four percent hull. Yeesh. Engage power allocation. I do like the sound of the Romulan torpedoes. In fact, I, I just love the the variety, the sheer variety of weapons we've seen in this game. Every race has their own unique things, uh, and it's such a, a lovely change and improvement over Starfleet Academy. Oh, he's dead! Marvelous. Manual targeting, please. Port and starboard shields are not in a good place right now. I'm not actually sure what the effective range of this thing is, but it seems to be pretty decent. And they're dead. Hull creeping back up to 30%. I suspect the worst is yet to come. Here's our proto warbird, or proto TNG warbird. Kind of like it, but kind of suffers from this low texture, low poly look, which is unfortunate of its era. Yeah, take a face full of that. Point blank, point blank. Oh, marvellous. Bloody marvellous. Engage power allocation. Get the hell out of the way from there. Alright. We've destroyed the Romulan Heavy Task Force. Alright. But did we not defend the Starbase as well? Where's, where is Kronos gone anyway? Kronos. Kronos. Wide angle. Oh. There you are. Well, there's nothing here, so I'm gonna head off to Kronos 3. Warp drive. If that was the heavy task force, then hopefully it should be like an easy ride, right? Right? 43% hull. Okay. I'm feeling a bit better about that. Whoa. That was a bit in your face. Engage power allocation at once, sir. Right, I'd rather warp over to you. Um. No, 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 don't we... Oh, my God. <laughs> that damn near gave me a heart attack. I was like, oh, no, this thing has a time run, isn't it? When it just will just go into warp regardless of the direction you're in. Ooh. Well, at least you're fairly easy to spot. Let's just... Magnify image. Magnify image. Magnification. Have a face full of this. You can really see that shimmer now. Wide angle. 
And now you've got a nice little bit of leaking plasma. Not going to help your cause. There we go. <laughs> Suddenly appears. All right. What's going on with this guy just sitting here? Engage power allocation. Engage power allocation. 54%. Let's have a quick check of damage control. Auxiliary systems, heavy damage. Let's, uh, let's put some power into that. Give me a bit more. I need a bit more, please, laddies. Yeah. Let's get our auxiliary power back up. Oh, I see a... Someone warping off somewhere. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Is he coming in to attack? I hope he's going to do something. Full shields should be fine. Now you die. Another one dealt with. Warp two. Warp drive. Helm, you have the con. AMFP standing. Captain has taken the con. Helm, you have the con. Captain has taken the con. Helm, you have the con. Captain has taken the con. Okay. No one here? Wide angle. There's something there. We still gotta kill Melkor as well. So... Engage power allocation. I need some sensor power, man. You have the con. I guess it's already got pretty high priority. Uh, Helm, you have the con. Can we boost power to the sensors? Captain okay. The con. Engage warp drive. Right away, sir. Oh no, it crashed. The game crashed. Fuck. <sighs> okay, well. Nothing I can do about that, but restart the game. I will be right back. Okay, I am back to what I think is the relative point I was at last time. Uh, I had an... This is actually my third attempt. The second one, I died actually very quickly to the Romulan Dreadnought. So there you go. Why are you running away from me? Okay, I'm a big brick of a warship, and okay, you may have seen what I've done to your friends, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Is he actually coming at me? I can't actually tell. Well, as long as you don't keep going in a straight line, I'm quite happy with that. I feel like the AI is being a bit wonkier in these later missions, I'm not sure, it's just... It's like it doesn't know what it wants to do, or what it should be doing. It's lost. It doesn't seem to be following any kind of attack pattern, or... Come, order escorts to attack my target. Yes, sir. It's not interested in shooting me. Engage power. Oh, now he is. Now here he comes. Finally triggered him.
get a bit closer. Now. Oh no. Alright. Oh, this is a bad idea. Run, run, run. Always got to be wary of those plasma torpedoes. They hurt. Need my forward shields to get back up. Okay, we got some support now as well. And uh, super weapons back. Can we please restore forward shields? Apparently not. There we go. All right. Where to now then? Uh, it says defend Corona Starbase. I can only see one ship here, so let's let's go to him. See what he's up to. In the middle of nowhere, apparently. AMFP standing by. And there's another crash. Wow, okay. This mission has some issues. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> this is attempt number five, I think. There we go. I think, I hope that's the last ship. No, there's another one. Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong targeting mode again. All right. Now it just has to defend the Kronos Starbase, except it's... Th this is my worry, is that this, this mission is bugged out in more ways than one, because the defend Kronos Starbase is, is still active. Oh, wait, no, we've got another target. Okay. What's he doing over there? So yeah, I've been trying to warp to one of these bad guys for like five minutes, and the, the warp two just keeps bugging out, and I have to manually deactivate the warp, and it only lets me do that when I'm like 150,000 K away. So I basically had to slow boat over to a battle. This is the second one I've had to do. My ship's in a bit better condition this time, though. Which is always nice. But yeah, I'm... I, I don't know, I'm I'm worried about this Defending Chrono Starbase uh, objective. And this is probably going to be my last attempt for the evening. Otherwise, it's going to have to go through the another day before I can finish the mission. Which was not my ideal outcome, but hey-ho, here's what it is. There's still no sign of Melkor himself yet that I've seen. Engage power allocation. Yeah, I made you decloak, didn't it? Okay, yeah, what what are you really gonna do to me? We're trying. Captain, we are being hailed by Captain Kempek. 
Open channel. Hey. My task force has come under fire by Melkor's battleship. We have destroyed a few of his escorts, but we cannot hold him much longer. This is our opportunity to finally kill this Hate Bajo. Join us in this battle, Torlek. Yeah, nice to see from Kempek, or hear from Kempek at least one more time. Same for seeing Kaporok at the start of the mission. I, I was wondering if we would actually get to see them again. Oh, the wolf me here with he's already walked to us, and here he is. Is this Melkor? Well, time to fight the brick. Doesn't seem to have brought any friends with him. That's just nice. Nice. I turned away just in time there. Because, uh,. Other shield angles took a bit of a battering there, and I had no forward shields. Oh god, oh, oh, oh! I think I just avoided a ramming, but I have unfortunately taken heavy damage. Roll, 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 roll. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness me. Seven percent, five percent. Decloak, decloak. Get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm lucky it's just my hull. AMFP standing by. Hull powder hull. Let's let's get that fixed as quickly as possible. Captain has taken the con. <laughs> I really don't want to have to do this mission again. But at least, um... This, the S defend... Okay, that's a secondary objective. Good. Good. Secondary objective. I can live with that. If I, Even if that's bugged out. Unless, of course, that is part of that. Who cares? Who cares? Con, order S Force to attack my target. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not ready to engage you again yet. Engage power allocation. Helm, you have the con. Captain has taken the con. Alright, let's try and engage again. what I want to hear. Okay, the bird of prey is down. I need to get closer. Now. He's heavily damaged, so am I, but I'm backing off. 
let my friends do some more damage. Now, he's only got forward shields and a little bit of starboard shields. He's got 0% hull, 6% hull, okay. No, he's dead. We got him. The usurper Melkor has been killed. His forces are withdrawing, like the cowardly Vec they are. The day is ours, Captain. We have won. We have beat the game. Yep. Let's quickly save. Tach, pa, tach, be. To be or not to be in the original Klingon. Defend Kronos. Oh, so we did pass. Okay, all good. Let's hear the debrief. The final debrief. No audio? Okay. All right. I'm going to do this then. <clears throat> From Klovik. Special Adjutant, so I have to do this in a Klingon voice. Special Adjutant to the Pro Tem Military Advisor, Kirin. Actually, Pro Tem, I learnt that word recently, actually from Starship Picard Season 3. I'd never heard the term Pro Tem, so temporary, basically. Anyway, to Captain Torlik, Security Highest Order, Kilbaf Pech Encrypted. Special directives. The following communique originally... I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Special directives. The following communique originates directly from the office of the Chancellor of the High Council. This seems a lot... No, yeah, I'm going to do my Thai fighter voice. The sensitive nature of this message necessitates its complete eradication from all databanks immediately after perusal. Torlex, son of Rovach, I wish to express to you my profound gratitude on the half of the Klingon people. I, I meant to say, behalf, not the half. Your actions during the darkest hour of this crisis have saved the Empire from a fate worse than any it has previously faced. Yet, despite your outstanding service, I must bind you to complete secrecy with regards to your role in this great conflict. Your silence is necessary to preserve the interests of the Empire, and I trust you will once again fulfil your duty faithfully. You have been granted the next several weeks to settle your personal affairs before you must report for reassignment. This, uh, the time has come for us to mend these wounds of fear and hatred in our great Empire, Captain Torlek and I intend for you to play a vital role in this. Right, now that I've done that. Okay, so... Is this how we're explaining why we've never heard of this in the in the film? You're, you're made to be secret. I'm sorry, but the Federation... There's no way the Federation would not have noticed this massive invasion and civil war. I mean, come on. No. Don't buy that. Nice, nice try, though. Nice try. Alright, let's, um... Let's see... What final cutscene awaits us? In the days that followed the end of the Civil War, much changed. Chancellor Gorkhan wasted little time solidifying his position. Under his leadership, the Empire began forging order from the fires of chaos. But only so much can be done now that we have lost the Talonor system. Where once we were rich in resources, today we must ravage the Proxy's moon to feed our Empire's endless hunger for energy. And it came as no surprise that our tenuous alliance with Romulans was irrevocably broken, leaving us in a state of blood feud. For this, if nothing else, the entire house of Jiho suffered discommendation by the High Council. Few of Melkor's supporters left alive after the reprisals sought refuge with the Romulan allies. But I believe it is better to die at the hands of an enemy than to live with such shame. for myself. Fate decided that my glory would be a silent one. The full extent of my actions during the war was kept secret by the High Council. 
this was done to help preserve the story given to the Federation. I do not know if Starfleet truly believes that Chang led his fleets across the neutral zone simply to make Melkor think Kronos was left undefended. But perhaps the truth is harder to accept than the lie. Despite the convenient deception, for a brief time, rumors of my future abounded. It was said I was to be the next military advisor, a tremendous honor to me and my family name. Sadly, these rumors proved untrue. Instead, I was chosen to lead a deep space expedition in the hopes of locating new sources of energy for the Empire. And shortly before my departure, Chang asked to speak with me one last time. Falek! A chain. Or should I call you by your new title, Chief of Staff? <laughs> I did not ask you to meet me here in order to observe formalities. Why then? Why this meeting? To bid you, among many other things, farewell. Farewell? Given your animosity for me, that is the last thing I would expect you to say. Why did you agree to be Gorkhan's Chief of Staff? Your debt of honor to him has been repaid in full. Oh, no, it has not. Gorkhan insisted I serve the next two years in this capacity. How did he put it to me? Ah, yes. Despite our differences, there is none more qualified, and no one else I can trust to keep me honest. <laughs> Those were his words. Artfully diplomatic, wouldn't you say? General Chang, I know that you blocked my nomination to be the next military advisor. So why this friendly farewell? We both know you still harbor a grudge for my actions at the Tally Nor Nebula. Now, time has made me realize that you were simply doing what I had taught you to do, Torlek. You conducted yourself as a true warrior, and you did so superbly. I bear you no grudge. It would be best, however, if you left the Empire for some time. We stand at the brink of a difficult new future. This future will discard its old heroes and raise new ones. You are the finest student I have ever taught. You must claim your proper place in this future while I must step aside. In the past, you served me as a loyal warrior, a friend, and my conscience when things were at their worst. But where I go now, you cannot follow, and I will need no conscience but my own. Farewell, Torlek. Son of Roebuck. Conscience? What have you resigned yourself to, Chang? Some rise by sin and some by virtue fall. What do you mean by all this? Where are you going? I go to the undiscovered country from whose bourne no traveler returns. That was the last day I ever saw General Chang. And despite what came afterwards, I have never forgotten what he taught me. Today, when I am asked what became of him, I gladly sit upon the ground and tell sad tales of the death of King. Well, everyone, that was Klingon Academy. Ah, lovely final outro. Again, Christopher Plummer, absolutely wonderful. Again, a little bit emotional just watching him, and he plays so many different emotions and facets of uh, Chang there. His pleasure at seeing Torlek, he's wishing him no ill will. The clear, you know, he is initially just laughing off his appointment, but you can see he's just a little bit tense, a little bit uncomfortable, and he's just he's just trying to you know bury the hatchet look just you know but with a little digging you can see how uncomfortable how resigned he is to what's coming in star trek 6 or the events of star trek 6 and that it does weigh on his conscience he feels he has to do this in order to save the empire and i think as i said earlier if not was it this one or the one before that maybe chang knows that his way of life is coming to an end and he would rather die fighting one way or another, even if it means, you know, doing the things he did in Star Trek VI. Um, so, what an amazing character Chang is, just from this game, fleshing it all out so much. It, it just, 
elevates the character of Chang so much in my uh, mind now, even more so than my in my memory. So yeah, he is one of the top Klingons now, up there with Bartok, Worf, Galron. Yeah, wonderful. So final mission. It was a fairly straightforward mission, to be honest. It's just the problem I had is the game kept crashing. It crashed on me three times, and there was one time I just died. So, yeah, a little bit buggy, but ultimately we got there in the end. Uh, the overall experience, I've really enjoyed this playthrough with, with all its hiccups, but we'll go into that in a, in a proper review video. For now, though, I'm going to... I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, oh, yeah, I did have one other thing to say. The... um. Well, we told the Federation what was going on. I, d I thought it was about the whole Melkor civil war and the Roman. No, it was just to explain why Chang ran across the neutral zone, because I kind of forgot that he did that, because I kept skipping it so often. And he did, you know, he did fuck up a Federation starbase, albeit a smaller one, probably for game practicality reasons, that I understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, that needs to be explained. I think Starfleet, you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. We we don't want a war. If if this is what it takes, fine. And you know that they know. Starfleet intelligence has its issues. It should know what's going on there. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Um, as I said, we've got the two more videos to come at least uh, before I do the actual review. So we're not quite done with this yet. But this this might actually be the last video I do on my current PC. The next one I might do on my new one. I don't know. But anyway, until that next time, kapla.